<laughs> so, fun story. I was editing the Skyrim videos when I noticed the videos were blank and huge. Like, the resolution was like 4K or something. I'm like, oh, God. My monitor's 4K. Did it mess up the... Did did the OBS updates, the recording software that uh, records this stuff... 4K in Skyrim, right? Right? Uh, did this recording sc- software reset everything, including that? <sighs> that would explain the quality problems I was having last week. Oof. Oof. 4K Skyrim! Wow. Mm, mm. Well said, Casimir. So, I had everything loaded for today, and I was like, hmm, maybe I'll shrink all the resolutions and whatnot. And this looks horrible. Everything is huge. Shrink. Shrink things. Make it smaller, UI scale. One. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Okay. This one's only 1920 by 1080. Less bad. Less bad. Okay. So I was... Plant Windsway? What is this? Show real-time clock. Pause on load. Yes. I always hated that. Whenever you load the game, it's already running. No, thank you. <sighs> hmm, hmm. Um, can... Actually, I was wondering. Where's the crazy cat lady mod? So the crazy cat lady mod adds a trait where you'll have someone who is a crazy cat lady and they require cats. They require them. And they also add like 42 different kinds of house cats. But I don't want 42 different kinds of house cats. I want to remove that. Um... I'm not seeing how to do that. Is the bones thing set to low? 0.35. That's good. That's good. Um, hospitality. Disable visitors. Disable guests. Helping. Guest helping is annoying. Hmm. That's interesting. Didn't know about that. Whether you think so or not, you want 40... Well... I want 40 different kinds of house cats. And I tried it. I tried it. I ended up with four different kinds. I was breeding them. I had like a hundred... A hundred cats. So many cats. Just walking around. But they kept dying. Everything eats them. It's <laughs> Rimworld is not a safe place for house cats. So I was hoping I'm going to have to reach out to the mod developer. Rimworld does add lo- big cats, uh, panthers, cougars, and the like. I was hoping there was a way to turn off the new cats and require it be those cats. Because I do like those guys. Those guys are fun. Let's trade. What? Is that... Is, uh, turn, go back. Come on. Load. Oh my god. Mod list? No. Mod options. Let's trade. Why is it... I didn't see this working. Okay. Okay. So they changed the way their mod works? Well, I ain't going through all of that. F that. Um. Fun. 
So actually, in that game I mentioned before, uh, previously, like uh, last week, the one that I said, oh no, RimWorld ended up terribly, we all died in the, in the game that I ran the last time, but I saved all of the predetermined stats and whatnot, and I just remade that, and that one's going well. I got uh, a couple of pygmy muffalos, then I got a hundred of them. So I'm like, trade all. I just traded all the muffalos. I like the muffalos because you can shear them for wool, you can milk them for milk, but I had too many, so I traded them all. And I forgot that after you, when you trade something away, it has a chance of walking back onto your map later. I have found four muffalos walking onto my map that were one of mine, I know because I named them, and I just, I just retamed them, took them in, and now I got a, a bunch of muffalos again. Then, geese! Oh my god, I literally had hundreds of geese. It was more than 200, 250 something. I had to kill them all. I, I couldn't I couldn't keep going. Um the the geese were fun. I really enjoyed them. But for the slime mod You need chickens. You need chicken eggs in order to summon in order to summon slimes. You need thirty First of all, you need a golden chicken, which is made from one fertilized chicken egg and gold. And those lay go th golden eggs. And you need 30 of them to make a mochi slime. I have 24 golden eggs so far, but both slimes and mochi slimes have wandered into my team. Mochi slime... He's got an orange on his head. I don't know why. An orange, though? Anyways. As you can see here with all the dead people. A hundred different robots just crash landed. And just were sending out psychic waves upsetting all of my colonists. I oh god. I had to do something. Oh my god, I had to do anything. Ended up destroying my entire base trying to kill them. Oh. I don't know how to make solar generators. I stole them from other towns. Well, I might as well expand this farm. Uh, this is a recent addition, though. I just got carpeting, but I ran out of cloth. I'll have to grow more cloth. Yeah, yeah. So, everyone died. Everyone died. But I have frozen all of their bodies. And I've been slowly, one at a time, bringing them back to life with my priest. Here she is. Resurrection. Um, they're all in their hospital beds. She, my arcane uh, a mage, has terrible cancer growing in her stomach. Jace, how's your mana? Not too good. I'm gonna I'm do something that ain't quite recommended. Where is my bottles of mana? I just bought a dozen of them. They're all gone. New recruit! Sweet! He's a chronomancer. People have been recommending chronomancers. Um, that's pretty big brain. What, bringing them back to life, one at a time? 
Chronomancer. Recall. What is the Recall Chronomancer spell? <laughs> I also got... No, not you. Uh, Squid. Squid just, just joined us. Hello, Squid. What are you? A bard! Oh my god, I needed a bard. Oh, everyone's so sad all the time. The bard runs around and makes people happy. Who has my mana potions? Okay. Why do you have a shield belt? Oh, well, you are the priest, so it doesn't matter what you have. Helleboros. Not sure what that is. That psychic foil helmet really got me through uh, that psychic attack. Oh my god. Seriously, I only had one necromancer survive. My priest, she was just wandering around doing nothing. Gubia, oh my god, she was so good. She ended up dying in the end. And, oh, Protein, my Blade Master. Everyone else died. Protein, actually, started running up. He's a meleeer. Started running up and just bashing things with a sword. Um, you know what? Just come. Just come in. Come in. I don't care who the Seers are and why you don't like them. So I have this thing here for hiding behind and making them come to me. And I was like, ranged attack, ranged attack. Also, I have this mortar, and I was throwing bombs at them. Just, just, they were all down to 30% maximum, so I'm at 20% health. Protein goes in. First of all, he was heavily damaged, and I sent him to a med bed to uh, heal. And then, when I wasn't looking, he came in and just cleared out like five of them before I noticed. I'm like, oh my god! Melee against robots actually works? Okay. Um, I was wanting... Where is that darn... Who has... What? What are they doing down there? I'm going to do something that shouldn't be done. Kazmir? Mm, yeah, Kazmir. Minion is hauling it. Mm, sure. Come on. Haul it. That's a summoned minion. He does things. She's hunting a guinea pig right now, but let's bring her back over here. She was not... Oh, 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 she finished hunting a guinea pig, and she brought it in. Okay, thank you, Kazmir. Now to do something I shouldn't do. You should not drink raw mana. Not good. But I want that cancer fixed. Okay, okay. How you doing? She's still anesthetized because I had to regrow her shoulder. I I've been uh, growing their parts and whatnot. An arcanist has cancer in her stomach. I'm going to grow her a new stomach. This is why I like druids. First of all, we need to get our seeds of life. Oh, nope, she's getting medicine first. And then the seeds of regrowth. Mm -hmm. Then you need a couple of mana bottles. Then you just mix them all up into her stomach. Come on. Successful. Be successful. Successful. 
long surgery process and it's very squishy having a, a fresh plant stomach forming should affect your hunger it makes you more hungry you got a tiny little plant stomach in your belly where are you going to put the food nice nice so here's me uh here's remy here's you casimir the druid bio shooting 19 medical 16 nice um, uh, who else was there? There was Arcanist and Pyro. Those were our other two starters. Recently resurrected. Plant stomach is worse at processing food. Maybe, but where's the food going to go? <sighs> 68. 68 magics after that? It's not a good idea to uh, regrow a body part with anything less than 90. A hundred is preferred, a hundred magics. And that's pretty close. I could have you drink another bottle and then fix someone else. What's wrong with Aimi? Uh, dementia, well, oh, I just gave her a new spine. Pyromaniac, she was just resurrected. Ah, uh, I'm giving her a new spine because of the bad back. Anyways, oh, and I recently added, I was saying this, I recently added these bedrooms. And I added this secondary freezer because I was just doing so well. Everything was great. Everyone was happy. I had so much food. I have no food now. Everything is terrible. I've converted... The freezer, I turned off all the air conditioning and whatnot, into just a place to store things. Oh, I should really make this shelf. New spines for everyone. Yeah, there's actually a, a sort of mini class. A, a sort of, it's a, it's basically a class where... Uh, if all of your specific body parts are replaced with uh, with the druid's new spines ability, uh, it, it makes something happen. Like you turn into a plant monster or something. It, that's in the works. I'm looking forward to that. It's not under body parts. Where is it not an item? So I just put, I had so many bombs from just people dying here and leaving them. And uh, I had this from someone who flew in to attack me and I, I just stole it after I killed them. And I set it up here and I was like, I have nothing I can do. How do I stop them? And then I'm like, oh, I can use this. And you're supposed, it's a good idea to put torpedoes I don't know what those are it's a good idea to put mortar shells that's what they're called put the mortar shells right next to it that way it's better loading time that way they just walk over pick it up and then put it over there and I have a shell for it because it's just it won't go bad when it's shelved. Because these things are bad. So I have them sitting outside and it's deteriorating because unroofed outdoors. And I'm just, this is just how I'm getting rid of them. I could put them in my body pile. I had this pile full of so many bodies. And then I went and made this spell and I gave it to my fire mage. Ignite. It makes a huge burst of fire and then burns everything. No more bodies. Oh, and my eggs. This is my 
uh, incubator. I keep it always heating up to 21 degrees Celsius and always cooling down to 21 degrees Celsius so that it's always at exactly 21 degrees Celsius because I don't want these eggs to die. Oh, I also got some nightlings. I didn't know what these were, but uh, some shop was selling their eggs, and I'm like, I could raise them, and look at them. What are they? They're horrifying is what they are. And um, then there's the Titaness. Ah, here you are. Look at you, gorgeous little bird right there. Love these guys. I gotta figure out how to use them for attacking. Hmm. Oh, the fun thing is... I'm pretty sure being frail and having a bad back... It's because I resurrected her, like, three times. I just resurrected her, sent her out after the robots, shot some lightning bolts at them, then ran away, but they'd always kill her. They'd always kill her. Who do I have? Isaac? Have I traded with you guys? Hmm. He's gonna kill a guinea pig first. Trying to tame the caravan is leaving. Well, then. He is an undead, so he can't talk. I think I've talked with them. Well, since... Squid has joined us. I think I will free someone. Hendrix. Where are you going with that bow? Nice bow. Um. Oh, you're not one of mine. Roro, you're one of mine. Open this. So. My prisoners were getting to be too much to handle, so I started just putting them on ice, because F that. I had two living people. She's got fibrous mechanites. I had two living people still, and, uh, and everyone else was undead, and I just couldn't handle with all of that, uh, all, with uh, so many prisoners. Hendrix here was interesting. Um, visitors came. Friends of my village. They were uh, uh, a country that was friends with my village. And it was like, Hendrix, the leader of this faction, is coming to a visit. And I'm like, what? What happens if I kidnap the leader of your village? They did not like that. <laughs> Uh, Fungero Nation. Um, Fungero Nation. Now, oh my god. They were my best allies. Now, they're some of my worst hostile enemies. Interesting. Interesting. Kazmir, you are asleep. How about Jace? You are also asleep, but you are also a druid. Why don't you come here, and Kazmir, F it, you come here as well. So I'm going to use Jace's Regenerate to just heal her, to heal her health, and Kazmir's Cure Disease to get rid of that Fibrous Mechanites. There we are, there we are. Bill complete. Make large sculpture. Nice. Nice. Jace, once you're done tending to her, go ahead and feed her. When she was last 
Oh, God. Zero food. Before I froze her, uh, we didn't have any food. We were completely out of food. Well done, Jace. Hendrix is set to recruit. Recruitment difficulty, 99%. Betraying your best allies is always a good idea. I had never seen that pop up before. Something that says uh, the leader of this faction has come. I'm like, what is that? I wanted to see what would happen. Here's one of the golden chickens. The ones that lay the eggs for the uh, slimes. For the slime summoning. I'm decorating their rooms, but no one sleeps down these because I don't have the, the carpeting yet. Um, who sleeps up here? Shadow? Shadow? Why don't you sleep here? There we are. Aaron, Iron Shield, Jace. Aaron. Iron Shield. Jace. Now that makes the second time I've woken up, Jace. There he goes. Ah! Tame the Red Fox. Nice. That's the second time I've woken up, Jace, tonight. He is not going to be in a good mood. I like the red foxes, they're cute, so I have been training them, and growing them, uh, breeding them, rather. Look at that. Oh, cute little guy. I really have no need for the darn cats. It's a real fun mod, but there's so many different cats. I like the Maine Coons. If I could just have the Maine Coons... Turn off all the other species. I'd be fine with that. Oh, oh, he's he's chopping up a minion. Ew. I specifically have it so that they don't use minion meat in their food. Also, for some reason, I don't have anything to make fine meals for anymore. So I'm trying to grow some food. My farms did not do so well after that attack. Also, I'm growing some uh, smoke leaf because uh, that's one of the components for making mana potions. Yeah. Yeah. So, I guess this is what a successful village looks like. Inspired Trade. An Ambrosia Sprout. Hendrix is being confused. I need to do something about that dementia. It's my under... How did you get clothes? Prisoners aren't allowed to have clothes. What are you doing? Training Chiyoko. Consuming Simple Meal. You're allowed to have clothes... When you agree to join my town. That's an amorphous blob of limbs. Uh, every now and then I can chop off a hand or an eye or a foot. I don't, I don't know, but it did have a baby. It produced a second version. Oh, nope, that is the baby. Teratogenic Originator 2. I don't know how I feel about this slime mod. All you do is cut them up for parts. Hmm. hmm. Also, a sand squid. 
A sand squid walked onto my map, so I had to tame it. These guys are great because they they ooze a slime that makes the ground super fertile. So I have him walking around my uh, farms and in the freezer in case he gets hungry. Uh, just to make the ground more fertile. And especially useful in a uh, sandy biome. Why are these doors not completed? Are we out? I think we're out. Out of granite. What is this? Slate? Ooh, I don't want to use slate. Slate's good for these. What? What is going on here? Out of slate! Okay. First of all, well, oh my god, the wall's gone. Ah. No, let's use marble. Mm, security, security, where is security? There it is. I'd hate to use marble steel. And you know what? Let's go wood for the doors. That's easy to break through, but whatever. Whatever. Uh, inspired trade, go frenzy. Oh, masterwork, a oh, masterwork wooden bed. Wait, that's excellent. Where did the masterwork one go? I have one villager. I think Isaac? No. Is it one of the dead ones? I have one villager who gets upset if anyone has anything better than him. So I made this room the bigger room. It's bigger than everyone else's rooms. I made this room his. I gave him a huge piece of art. An urn as well. I have so few urns. I have to buy those because I can't make them. And uh, I'm giving him a masterwork bed as well. For when I resurrect him. He's not resurrected yet. Also, I need more storage space. So I'm going to take out this wall. <laughs> 